in part two of my little let me help you build your intranet with uh, with SharePoint communication sites I need to look at lookup lists so to explain is that on this intranet of yours you're gonna have a document library there might be FAQs on it you might have a gallery on there and I need categories for that I'm not going to use folders in these libraries on my intranet I'm going to use metadata and for a specific reason so what we have to do to build lookup lists is on this specific site I'm going to go and say um, add an app and um, <clears throat> I'm going to use a custom list for this lookup list. You can also use the term store for this. You can also use side columns for this. But for this specific exercise, I'm going to just build a normal lookup list. I'm going to choose a custom list. And uh, my naming convention is also LL for lookup list. And then I'll go departments, LLD for um, lookup list departments. I will explain this afterwards. And then once I've built that, I'm going to go to that list. I'm going to click on that little ellipsis next to it and go to um, the settings of that list and I need to just rename my list list name description I always add a little description there to say that it's being used for lookups so I don't add it to the quick launch and I save that. The important thing about a lookup list is remember another app is going to look at this list as a drop down. I'm not going to build choice columns on the apps. So the view it's going to use is the default view and that view needs to display more items than 30 and it's got to display it in alphabetical order. So the first thing that I do when I've created a lookup list is that I'll create a view. I never edit the all items view. I never touch the default view that SharePoint gives me. I'm going to copy it from all items. I'm going to call this view lookup. I'm going to make this the default view. I want it to show the title. I don't want it to sort by ID. I want it to sort by title otherwise I mean your stuff's going to sort by the order that you put it in there and then the other thing that I change is this 30 because you might have more than 30 departments and then it only shows 30 in the choice column so I'm going to change that to least to 100 so this means that I've got a new view now that is the default view and then um, I'm using Internet Explorer at the moment because the quick edit and the pasting and quick edits not working so fresh on the other browsers so I'm going to go to quick edit and you'll see that I've prepared a spreadsheet with my list of departments and my list of document types this is what I mentioned you had to go and populate for us in the previous video so I'm going to copy that and just move that across again oopsie I'm going to copy that I've made it alphabetical as well but uh, not that that's an issue and then um, in this little list just make sure that I'm in the right field I can paste it so in an Internet Explorer it still allows me to paste the whole list which is pretty cool so edit quick um, edit I'm um, exit the quick edit and then it saved my little departments list I'm gonna do very quickly I'm gonna do exactly the same steps and use it for document types so in my site contents you'll now see that I've got two apps that I've built with a custom list lookup list for departments and lookup list for document types I, if you're not used to using lookup lists, you'll definitely see what we're going to use it for in, um, in the next video clip. So in the next video clip, we're going to build our, um, let's just call it uh, our document library where we're going to host all the documents that we want to share on our intranet. And then we're going to definitely be using those columns. So um, we'll definitely um, catch up soon for that. If I go to the lookup list document types, you'll see that I've also already populated the different document types that I want to use. So um, we'll catch up for the next little video clip where we're going to build the document library that's going to store all our policies, procedures, uh, forms and templates, work instructions, and then we're going to be using this metadata to categorize and group the content. We'll uh, catch up soon.